you know, in most cases, it's very hard for somebody to really understand what it's like to be somewhere without actually being there. And virtual reality provides that capability. You take twists and turns with technology. You have a technology and you have a vision of how it's going to be used. These sensors uh, represent some uh, joint motions of your hand. At WSU, we're doing a really good job of bridging that gap between academia and industry. In the end, the user determines how it's going to be used. I was talking to my partner out in Virginia and I was missing a Seahawks game and I really wanted to be in the stadium. Oh, I wish I could sit at home, put on a headset, feel as if I'm in the stadium. I froze right there and I knew that that was it. We have multiple cameras on the field, so you can look in any direction you want, hand tilt, then you can pause, rewind, slow motion, whatever you want to do. What we're trying to do is give people a chance to control their view, have a chance to look where they want to look. How many times have you watched a game and suddenly they switch off and you say, what was that over there? Well, now you can take control. So you can look at it over and over, you look at it from different angles. You know, the game controller and that aspect appeals to the younger population, whereas the iPads and, you know, that kind of an interface would appeal to the older generation. And so I think there's a little bit for everybody. The next generation wants to be not passively entertained, but actively entertained. They need to be doing something other than just watching and absorbing. This is a team that I watch every Saturday. And Kook fan means that you can go with the ups and get excited, go with the downs and stay excited. You know, this is where I've spent every Saturday that's been a Kook game in, in the last 15 plus years. And for me, it was really, really important that we launched this through WSU Stadium. No question about it. Having fans actually use it and view it, I was pacing up and down for four hours the first day we released it, just looking at people using it and answering questions and the excitement that I saw in the fans in being able to do that, pausing it, rewinding it, that's great. To create something that can put a smile on people's faces, that feels really, really good. This technology is not just for sports, it's not just for football games, for people to hear that this came from Pullman. This came from a professor at Washington State University. That's a huge deal for me. This is the future. Go Cougs!